Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Instruxon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 6, Episode 12 of The Flash called A Girl Named Sue. So to start off with, um, the real Iris is in the mirror and runs into a woman and it's actually Eva, um, what is it? The, I'm not going to say it's Eva. She was the um, husband of the, of the president of the lab that's acting kind of all kinds of crazy. Anyway. And she's been trapped there for six years, and then um, everything's in reverse, and um, basically it's, it's like a mirror-verse type deal, but there's no one else there except for those two. And um, six years ago, basically the dark, anti the anti- the antimatter wave that hit her when everyone got meta powers and stuff, it hit her in the glass, so she went through the mirror. And that's how she ended up there. Then, basically, the other Iris is a clone. Then we cut to where Dibney is looking for Sue Dearborn again. So Cecile checks on him, and apparently he reeks. And she wants to team up, and he says, no, I gotta do it my way. Then we cut to where Sue made a deposit. And then we cut to where Barry is still sore, which is unusual for him just because, like, he literally should be fine after like a few times you know like after like a few minutes or whatever once he like breaks something then obviously it's like a eight hours or whatever anyway then iris is doing research and she wants the mirror gun and um to examine it but barry says no and she's like mm -hmm. okay have a great day sweetie and <laughs> Then Barry, um, then like I said, then Ralph found Sue, and she won't give a straight answer, period. And basically, John Loring keeps trying to off her, and so she's actually hunting him, because he's back in town, and they have this freaking 40s music, which irritates the F out of me. Then we cut to where Eva is starting to freak out. She's tried 1,322 times to escape, and, um... Then we cut to where Iris has an idea to use Absolute Zero to get out. Then Joe talks to Barry and wants him to look at a fire soft case. And he's like, just, just do it. Because he's like, that's already been solved. I got a ton of work to do. He's like, just check into it and come back to me directly, please. It's like, okay, okay, I'll look, I'll look. <laughs> then we cut to where Sue and Ralph are at the location and start to bicker and he took pictures, but he got made and Sue saved him. And basically they need a ledger and they try to go into the office and that didn't also work out either. And then um, they run to Cecile at Jitters and she got great vibes from them. Like they're pretty much like the same person. And then we cut to where Iris's plan didn't work and then we have the other iris at star labs and found the mirror gun that runs into nash and he keeps seeing wells i don't know which wells he's seen i don't know if he's seen like reverse flash wells or if he's seeing like harry wells but he had harry's book and on him anyway so iris recovers and said i'm looking for north star and i can't find it so please don't tell barry i was here I'm looking for it because he'll get mad at me anyway then we cut to where Sue and Ralph got made in the office and got the key and they he uses elongated powers to get down. Then Ralph explains elongated man to Sue and she wants to break into the bank. At first he says no but then changes his mind because they're just going to get the item that uh what's his freaking name? Oh my god, I literally have it on here. Lou something Loring, um, just break into a certain um, safety deposit box. Anyway, and then Barry talks to Joe, and Joe says that's dirty cops. And then we cut to where the mirror responds to Eva when she got really upset. She's like, "I just want to leave," because when, when the glass shattered, the one of the shards got into her hand. And then we cut to where Ralph and Sue are at the bank, and um, it was. But he was posing as Joe, because apparently he could do that. I forgot he can do that. And then, at, when they get the stuff, um, and they're about to leave, Sue betrays Ralph, and she played him so good. Like, so good. Like, 
crazy. Then Sue got cornered and he managed to get out through the sprinkler system. Then Sue and Ralph bicker as she as he rescued her. Then UV shows up and KO'd everyone. So when they came back from around, um, it's Sue versus um, Ultraviolet. And that was a really cool fight scene. I really enjoyed that. And but uh, she made both of them managed to escape. And then um, Barry arrests the guys. Then Ralph feels down about Sue. Then Barry gives Iris the weapon. And then because where Eva has a connection to the mirror and she fixed the mirror. And then they're like, oh, they're going to listen. And that's going to be a very interesting episode. Then we cut to where Sue is in the diamond and saw like the black hole in Sydney. So she's like, I'm coming for you. Or she's like, let's do this or something. Anyway, and that was an episode. A plus episode. Oh, and also... I forgot um, when Barry was reading um, some other case files, I think he saw Iris in the mirror. And um, so that was very interesting as well. So I don't know if he's starting to catch on to that's not actually Iris or what, but I was like, oh, so crazy. I love that. So this was an A-plus episode for me. There was a lot of twists and turns. Also, they also have a new intro and awesome job on the new intro. Uh, they, I feel like they also did Arrow kind of dirty because they didn't get a new one. <laughs> but that's because the show was ending. But anyway, I'm still sad about that. Anyway, I really enjoyed the episode. The fight scenes were great. The whole Sue betraying Ralph was great. I was, I was not expecting that. So I was like, what is happening? And I'm excited about this. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. A plus episode. I really got nothing bad to say. And um, anyway. That's it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.